What's going on you guys? It's Tulo here. I'm going to be telling you guys a few ways to fix your timing in the custom practice mode. So I've went through like how to fix your PCI placement, but the one thing I haven't touched on is how to fix your timing. So there's a few different methods you can do in your head that I did at one point to fix my timing. So right here we got Mickey against Seaver. So in your head, you can try this method. When Seaver lifts up his leg, you can try the one-two method. So I've been there before where I'm trying different methods and this is one of them that works. So when he lifts up his leg, so wait for him to pitch, one, two, and then you're waiting for the picks right there. It keeps you on point and it doesn't, it, it doesn't keep you, um, you're not off balance. So when he comes up, one, two, right there, try to get... Like I said, these sliders are fast as hell, so it's obviously not anything in rank seasons, but in rank seasons, it'll be a different story. One, two. I'm just missing them right now, but I'm getting one thing I'm getting good on is the timing, early and good timing. That's what you need to focus on. Right there, I think we were a bit early on that. Yep, yeah, a bit early on it. But that is one of the biggest ones. It's just in your head, one, two. And then I weighed it back on that pretty well. Never mind, I didn't freaking weigh back on that. It just seemed like it because I wasn't flailing, but I need to get, I need to weigh back on that for sure. One, two. Mmm. That's good pop though. That's not late, that's good. We're just messing up our PCI placement. This is just because I'm warming up, but for timing definitely the best way to improve is to get in the lab like this one two yep right there see one two we kept we were staying still waiting for that you just got to track the picture's movements out of the hand and then when he came forward to the plate we were waiting for that right there we're on it again so and one other thing for timing is what you want to do is like Sometimes you're a bit early or too late. If you're early, take a step back. That's that's another tip. Just take a step back in your game. Like those sliders and in, in my sliders are hard to stay back on. But that's what you got to do. Um, you just got to stay calm and you just got to react. So like we went up and got that. Um, my thought process is I'm back on the slider, but I'll jump at the fastball. You know what I mean? So I'm on both. But, <clears throat> but, um, I'll wait back on it. I'll wait back on the slider, and then if I see that fastball, I can jump on it. Alright, one more thing is, you can, as he throws a slider there. So, I'm gonna, one thing about timing is dividing the plate. And this matters with timing because you kind of know the spot a pitch is. You kind of know how fast it's coming in. So, if it's inside... It's if it's low and in, most likely a slider. If it's out over, most likely something hard. People usually don't throw off speed high, so you guys got to think about that too. Um, but that is one another method is trying to divide the plate and realizing what they throw where, and that'll just help you out. There's also different PCI placement methods you can use for timing because. Some people struggle to getting to those low pitches. Like if you throw low fastballs, I've heard if they throw high fastballs. My method's good for high fastballs, but there are some players that use. I'm gonna show it later. They sh they use um a low PCI method. So I'll be showing that later. It's just it'll help you get to different types of pitches, cause it can be hard to um get to certain pitches for sure. But like I said, try that method out. Let me know what you guys use. Do you guys do anything in your head? Um, countdown, something. I'm just thinking of ways to help you guys out who are struggling with hitting. Everyone was a beginner at one point, so any method helps. You know what I mean? Um, the one-two just helps tracking it. So the one more thing is um, you can, go with, with my PCI, right, before the pitch comes, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to move it up like that. You see that slight movement right there? That's one of the bigger um, tips I have for you guys because you'll see a lot of top players like Rebel and other guys like that who before the pitch comes, they move it like that. 
right when the pitch comes because that helps with not only timing but precise um, PCI um, what's it called precise PCI control like you're right on pitches so right before the pitch comes like just move it up a little bit and we hit a bomb right before I could even say it here's the uh, approach the low approach so I'll, there are some players that use this they sit low in the zone right there a little bit low a little bit low there's a lot of top players that use that if you go on twitch you can see them this is really good because you can get around on those low pitches um it's really good to just like the area you're struggling on you can move your pci accordingly that's why my approach doesn't work for everybody so i'm trying to be more diverse for you guys and trying to understand all your guys weaknesses and i'm giving you other options to try and improve your game that is another um really good approach that low approach right that low fastball just sit it low it's a really good approach so that's just it might be unorthodox to begin with but i'm telling you it works so just a review we did the first one was the one two method the countdown second one was the hesitation with your pci right when the ball comes just move it up quickly like just flick it up, you know, that movement. It helps you control your PCI. It helps you track your PCI. If you look at every top player, most of them do that flick before the pitch comes. And then last was sitting the PCI low. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short video just to get try, ways to get your timing right. And I hope you guys enjoyed from a top player. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.